no aparecía. Solo se pone que ya va a Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Susana. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? Uh, last night I called and connect. You um, could. Pretty, pretty bad health. Oh really? You felt bad. Yeah. Are um, you are you better now? Um, I got a hair problem. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's pretty bad. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. Uh, I have a device inside in, in my hair. Oh, you do. Okay. Uh -huh. Por si, me conect, de, por si me desconecto antes de la hora. Okay. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Um, good evening, Tulma. Bye. Bye, teacher. Great. Good so, evening. Good evening. How was your day, Tulma? Very well. As well, okay, good. So how was work? Was it all right? No lo comprendo me. ¿Qué tal el trabajo? How was work? Was it all right? ¿Estuvo bien? Yes. Okay. Very good. Nice. All right, that's good. So I'm glad to hear that. Frank, good evening. Good evening, teacher and ladies and gentlemen. I'm very grateful to be here with you again. Excellent. So how has your day been? I think I have I had a normal Friday without any surprise to tell. Oh, okay. So it was just a usual day. Uh -huh. A usual day. Okay. All right. That's, That's good. All. Okay, fine. Dalia Margarita, good evening. Tania Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, thank you. 
Great. How was your day? I was busy, but was okay. All right. That's nice. Yeah. It was good day. at the end. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cecilia, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everybody. How's everything, Cecilia? Bye. Uh, finishing dinner. Oh, okay. Yes, finishing <laughs> dinner. All right. Yes. So, bon appetit. Um, <laughs> thank you. Mm. See, um, I, I, I did with a lot of work, but happy that is Friday. Great. Yes, we're in the Friday mood, right? So we feel a little better, like um, a little more relaxed and stuff. So it's good. Let's see, Rafael Alexander, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? Um calm day. Can you repeat it? Uh call call cal day. Un día calmado. Mm. Oh a calm, calm day. Okay. Calm. Uh-huh. All right. Nice. So did you have to work today? Did you have to work or was it a free day? ¿Le tocó trabajar o fue día libre? No. Uh, work the morning. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm glad to hear that, he, that you had a nice day. Let me see, Jose Manuel, Jose Manuel, sorry. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How's everything? And uh, I, I, I good. And the and Friday is a tired and difficult day. Oh, really? Did you have a lot yes. of work? Mm, um, tomorrow, no work. Oh, you don't work? And, uh, no, no. Great. So you have some time to rest. Um, excuse? You have some time to rest. Le queda tiempo para descansar. Oh, yes. And, the, and Saturday is a, a, a family visit. Oh. Or a, a sleep. Nice. Yeah, very relaxing Saturday. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. See. And you? How are you? I'm fine. Because um, today I'm kind of happy. I, I don't know. I feel kind of relaxed. I had oh. a lot to do, but um, yeah, I feel different today. I, uh. I'm just in the Friday mood, I think. <laughs> so yeah, it's <laughs> Very good. good. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see. Um, Tony, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you, Tony? I am pretty well. Thanks for asking, and you? Great. I'm fine. Thanks. How was your day? My day was great. It was good? All That's right, great. fine. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. What did you do? Did you stay home? Did you have to work? I didn't work. You didn't work today. OK. Yes. That's nice. And how about Dalia Ramos? Good evening, Dalia. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Miss? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Great. How was your day? Um, a good day. Fridays are crazy. And okay. we can end 
is very what? Mm, okay. It's mm -hmm. very like very active. Yes. Okay. So you in had general, a lot. In general, a good day. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. All right, so we got to Friday, right? So we are finishing our second week and we are in the middle of the course right now. So let's start with our class. This is our 10th class. And let me see. So welcome everybody to our class. We are going to start with our review, of course. So let's start by talking about the third person verb forms. So let me remind you that we normally add S to the base form of the verbs. For example, in the case of speak, we would say speaks for the third person, right? We take the base form of the verb speak and we add S. Now I need everybody to copy the verbs and write the corresponding third person forms, please. Everybody do that. We keep on practicing. Let me know when you finish, please. Are we ready to check? Okay, so let's check. So we got for speak, speaks, for give, we got gives. 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 You only add S. Then we got make becomes makes. 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 Build. 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 Right. 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 Cook. Right. Cook becomes cook. 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 cooks. Okay, next one is C. It becomes 
Sis. Sis. Send. Send. Sends. Sends. And it. 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 Right, so as you see, we had S to all of those verbs, right? There's nothing else but an S at the end. So I say, for example, I speak, but he speaks. I give, but she gives. Um, we make, but it makes. And so on, right? We say, you build, she builds. We write. And then we could say he writes and so on. So as you see, we only add S to all the verbs. So that is the, the general rule for the simple present, right? At S. But we also have some different kinds of verbs and some other rules to follow. So let's talk about this one. If the verb ends in double S, X, CH, SH, or Z, we add ES in the third form person, in the third person form, sorry. So here um, we have some examples. Kiss takes ES and it becomes kisses. 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 Fix becomes fixes. 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 Okay, copy the verbs, please, and write the corresponding forms, the third person forms. What is Watches. Watches. Okay, so let's complete now. Watches. Then we have crush, which becomes precious. Crushes. Crushes. Let me change Buzz. the color of that. Okay, and the last one, buzz, becomes. Buzz. Buzz. Buzzes. What does it mean, buzzes? Oh, Buzz. that is, um, do you know little bees, those animals, bees? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the sound that they make, buzz. Oh. That is buzzing. So, yeah. thanks. Okay. All right, so let's practice pronunciation. Please, everybody repeat, kiss, kisses. Fix fixes. Watch watches. Watch watches. Crashes. Crashes. Buzz buzzes. Repeat the last one. Buzz buzz. 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 You have to make it vibrate. Buzz. Right? Buzz. Okay, so keep on practicing that one. So we say kisses, fixes, kisses, watches, crushes, and buzzes. One more time. Kisses, 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 fixes, fixes, watches. Watches, 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 crushes, crushes, buzzes, buzzes. Buzz. Okay, let me also tell you about pronunciation of this verb. So it's different from, let me see, let me write both of the forms. Right, so we pronounce these two in a different way. This one is watch, watch. This one, watch, watch. 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 So watch. here watch. we stop, right? So we got watch and there we stop. Yeah. But here we got um, the, the air flowing like wash, 
wash. So it keeps on going, right? Wash. Watch. Watch. Wash. Well, wash. then we got the third person, the third the third person forms watches and washes. Watches, wash. Watches and wash. Okay, repeat please. Watch. 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 Watches. Watches. Wash. Watches. 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 Okay, so they sound different. Keep on practicing them. Watch. Wash. Watch. 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 All right, pretty well. Okay, now let's talk about the third kind of verbs that we have, or the third rule to follow. So if the verb ends in a consonant plus Y, we remove the Y and add IES in the third person. Here we have some verbs that take IES. And here what we need to do is to eliminate, first of all, the, the Y. Oh, here, we do not have a Y anymore. Let me get another color. So we eliminate the Y in all of them. We do not use it anymore, we drop it. And then we have to add IES. So for example, for carry, we get carries. Complete the others, please. Okay, now let me complete them here. So we got carries, then for hurry we say? Carries. Hurries, hurries. And for study we got? Studies. 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 And try becomes? Tries. 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 Now let's practice. Carry carries. Repeat. Carry carries. Carry carries. Hurry hurries. Hurry hurries. Hurry Study studies. Study studies. Try tries. Try tries. Carries hurries studies tries. Repeat, please. Carries. 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 Harries. Harries. Studies. Studies. Tries. 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 Right. Very good. Okay, <clears throat> now let's talk about the exceptions. Here in the simple <clears throat> present, we only got three exceptions. So it's very easy to keep them in mind. We got go, which becomes, what is the third person form for go? Goes. 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 How do you spell that? G-O-E-S. G-O-E-S. So we add E-S to that one. Then we got do, which becomes? Yes. 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 How do you spell it? D O E S. D O E S. O E S. O E S. And have is completely different. Has. It becomes has. has. How do you spell it? H A S. H A S. So we got go goes do does. <clears throat> Have has. Now let's practice. 
Repeat, please. Go goes. Go goes. Do that. Do, Do that. that. Have has. Have that. Has. Has. Goes does has. Repeat, please. Go, goes go, does, 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 has. Does, does, has. has. Okay, just keep those in mind because they do not follow any of the rules. They are different, right? So in the case of these two, they end in O and then you just add ES to them. And this one, it changes, right? You got S instead of V and E. So have has, do, does, go, goes. Let's continue. Okay, now let's remember how to make affirmative statements using the simple present. Remember that we have to change the verb when using the subjects he, she, or it. In the structure that we follow in order to make statements or sentences is the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. So it's only three elements, pretty easy. Here I have some examples. I talk on the phone. So I have the subject, I, then I get the verb, which is talk, then the complement on the phone, on the phone. Okay, let me give you another example. She talks to her friends. She talks to her friends. Once again, we got the, the subject, which is, what's the subject here? She. She. Then the verb is? Talk. Talks. Talk. And then we have the complement to her friends. To her friends. To her friends. Her friends. Good. So you always have to, to include those three elements, right? Subject, verb, and complement. And um, let me give you another example. Um, can you help me to read it? <clears throat> Sorry, Sunma. Help me Perdón to read me. it, please. Can you help me to read it? Me ayuda a leer el ejemplo, por favor. You visit. You visit your grandma on weekends. Thank you. And the other one, Arnoldo. Yes. This is his grandparents every Tuesday. Thank you. So we got, you visit your grandma on weekends. Josh visits his grandparents every Tuesday. And here, what you have to notice about these examples is that um, we got the same verb, right? We got the same verb, but we change it for the third person. Here we have the subject Josh, which is he. It corresponds to the pronoun he, the third person. Therefore, you need to add S to the verb. You say visits. And the same happens in the case of talk. We got I talk, but she talks, she talks. So always remember that when using he, she, or it, we add S to the verb. Or depending on the verb we're using, it may be that it takes ES or IES. Now let's continue with some practice. I need you to make some sentences using the first and second person and also the third person. How come? Here I have a list of verbs. I want you to write sentences similar to the examples I gave you, using the same verb in two different subjects. One of them has to be first or second person, and the other one has to be third person. So one of the sentences has to include he, she, or it, and the other sentence has to be any, it has to include any of the subjects, the one that you prefer. For example, let's make sentences using speak. Can you tell me a sentence using speak? Let's she, see. She speaks. Okay. She speaks English. She speaks, speaks English. English. Okay. Now 
give me another sentence using speak, but with the subject you. You speak English. A different one. Let's use you speak, but let's try to use a different company. French. French, great. French. You speak French, she speaks English. You speak French, she speaks English. Okay, that is what I want you to do. I need you to make two different sentences using the same verb in a different complement. Okay, so please do that. Copy the verbs, make sentences. Hacemos oraciones, así como en el ejemplo, utilizamos en una la forma para la primera persona, la primera o segunda persona, como en el caso de I, you, he, and sorry, I, you, we, and they. Y en la otra oración vamos a utilizar la tercera persona, que sería he, she, o it. De modo que utilicemos en una la forma base del verbo o la forma infinitiva, speak, y en la otra, speaks. Igual con el verbo give. Give and gives in the other sentence. So take some minutes to do that, please. Here, sorry, sorry. Tell me. The, the, the first person is I, you, we, they. The, the first, second person? Uh -huh. First person is I, second person, you. And we got I and we is first person. And then, then second person, you and they. Repeat, please, teacher. Sure. Sure, it's okay. Let me try it here. So we got first person would be I and we. And second person that includes you and they. And the third person, <clears throat> sorry, third person is he, she, it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
Let me know when you finish, please. We finished, teacher. Okay, great. So how about we check your sentences, Frank? So the sentences that you brought using give. Give. They give peace to the world. Nice. And the other one? She gives me my book. Great. Make? Make. We make some plants. He makes a plane. We built, they build a mall. He builds a dog house. Excellent. Right, yep. right, I write some poems. She writes love letters. Mm -hmm. Cook, you cook your meal. He cooks so bad. See, I see a better world. She sees an UFO. Send. You send emails, he sends a letter. And it, you eat boiling eggs, and it eats dog food. All right, excellent. That was good. You're really Thanks. creative with your with your sentences. You were really creative, so it's nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay, who else finished? I finished, miss. Okay, Carlos, let's check. Tell me your sentences. Uh, okay. I give a gift. She gives a jeans. I make a cake. She makes a pizza. I build a house. She builds a street. We write a report. She writes a letter. They cook a dinner, she cooks a lunch. I see a butterfly, he sees a bus. I send my homework, uh, she sends money. I eat a hamburger, she eats vegetable. All right, excellent, Carlos. Just let me tell you about, uh, I think it was with the verb cook. You said um, cook a lunch or cook a dinner. We do not use a over there. We say cook lunch or cook dinner. Oh, okay. Thanks, miss. Okay. Finish, teacher. All right. Can you share your sentences, please? Okay. We give the dinner. I give the dinner. She makes the homework. You make the homework. John builds the house. You build the house. They write a poem. Mary writes a poem. I cook the dinner. He cooks the dinner. I see TV. She sees TV. You send a book. John sends a book. I eat my lunch. Carlos eat a lunch. Okay. Great. Very good, Susana. Thank you. And the others? Who else finished?
I finished. <clears throat> okay, can you share your sentences, please? Okay. He gives a her, I give a her. We make a cake, they make a cake. He build a wall, I build a wall. She writes a song, you write a song. We cook paella, she cooks paella. It sees the, the ocean, they see the ocean. We send the letter, she sends a letter. And I eat pizza, they eat pizza. All right, excellent, Talia. Thanks for sharing. Okay. All right, so we are going to continue because of the time. So remember, if you didn't finish, you can do it later. And in case you want me to check your sentences, just let me know, okay? So you can just send me a message through WhatsApp or something, and then I'll help you to check. So let's continue. In case you want to continue practicing, there we have some other verbs that you may use in sentences. So maybe later you can take a look at them and try to use them in sentences. Now let's talk about the negative statements for the simple present. Let's review that. So to form the negative, we use the auxiliary do not or don't. And the only variation occurs in the third person, he, she, it where we use does not or doesn't. For example, I say I work in a factory, but then I change it to the negative using the auxiliary don't or doesn't, or do not or does not. Which one do I use for I? Don't. I don't. So I say I don't work in a factory. Next one, you eat a lot. What's the negative? You don't eat a lot. You don't eat a lot. Okay, the next one says, Mary and I check our cell phones. What would be the negative? Mary and I don't check our cell phones. Okay. Mary and I don't check ourselves. Okay, next example is Carla and Joanna like swimming. Carla and Joanna don't like swimming. We got Carla and Joanna don't like swimming. Okay, we got another one that says Harrison drinks apple juice. Harrison What's the negative don't. one? Harrison don't, don't or doesn't? Doesn't drink. Doesn't. drink doesn't. Apple doesn't. Okay, we say Harrison doesn't drink apple juice. Okay, then we have another one in the third person. It says Emily does her homework. Emily does her, her homework. What's the negative form? Emily, Emily does, does, her, does homework. her homework. Emily doesn't, doesn't, doesn't do her homework. Doesn't do her homework. Doesn't do. Doesn't do her homework. So here we're using do twice, right? Utilizamos do dos veces. Porque el primero, doesn't, es el auxiliar, que siempre vamos a utilizar en todas las oraciones negativas. Así como acá decimos don't work, don't eat, 
tenemos el auxiliar, don't o doesn't, y el verbo principal, que en este caso sería work, en este eat, en este check, then we have like, and so on. En el caso de do, es lo mismo. Tenemos primero el auxiliar, doesn't, y necesitamos siempre el verbo principal, que en este caso es do. No importa que coincidan, que los dos sean do. Aún, incluso podríamos decir si la oración fuera... I do my homework. I do my homework. I don't do my homework. I don't do my homework. Siempre tenemos el auxiliar y el verbo principal, sin importar que el verbo sea do y que lo tengamos que repetir, por así decirlo. Okay. All right, okay. then we have the elephant takes a peanut. The elephant takes a peanut. What's the negative form of that one? The, the elephant, elephant doesn't, doesn't take a peanut. The elephant doesn't take a peanut. All right, so there we go. And something important to keep in mind while using the negative form is that we do not change the form of the verb. Here I say, I don't work. We use the base form. I don't eat. No S, no ES, no IES. And even for the third person, we're talking about her son, he. Then we got the auxiliary doesn't. And because of that, we do not change the verb drink. We got drink with no S. Acá, aunque estemos utilizando la tercera persona, recordemos que no cambiamos el verbo. No le agregamos S, ni ES, o IES, porque ya estamos utilizando el auxiliar que corresponde a la tercera persona, que es doesn't. Entonces, en ese caso, no hay que cambiar el verbo. Let's continue. So, now I need you to make some negative sentences using the verbs. We're going to do this orally. So, let me ask, let me see, Lisette, make a sentence, a negative sentence using open. He, he doesn't open his his house. He doesn't open his house. Good. Another one using close, Rafael. You don't close door. You don't close the door. Very good. Another one you seen listen, Arnoldo? Arnoldo, I cannot see if you're speaking, but your microphone is off. Can you check that? <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. A negative mm. sentence using listen. Uh, no. But no. Okay, and let's try using, for example, I don't listen. I don't listen to the music. To music. Or we could also mention a specific kind of music, like I don't listen to rock music. I don't listen to romantic music, for instance. Okay, bachata. thank you. I don't listen to bachata music. Okay, Susana, <laughs> give me one example using clean. She cleaned the window. But in the she negative, knows, please. In forma negative. Yes. Uh, she don't. Don't or she doesn't. Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't clean for the windows. She doesn't clean the windows. Good. Mm -hmm. Next verb is C. Frank, give us an example, please. Um, your microphone. I see you. I don't see you very clean. All right. Thanks. Let me see. 
Um, Dalia Ramos, can you make another one using give? Um, I don't give a kiss. I don't give the kiss. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Maybe we can complete it by mentioning somebody. I don't give the kiss to my sister, or I don't give the kiss to my daughter, for example. Okay. I don't kiss. No. No. I don't. Sorry. Sorry. That's I fine. don't give a kiss my sister. Oh, a kiss. You said kiss like okay. beso. Sorry, Dalia. Oh, yes, uh, yes. What do you mean? Kiss the beso or kiss the llaves? Sorry. Llaves? I, oh, yeah. Kiss. Yeah, so that's fine. You say, I don't give the kiss to my sister, for instance. Very good, Dalia. Now our, our next verb is sing. Let's see, Carmelina, give me an example, please. Carmelina. He doesn't sing uh, romantic mu music. Romantic music. Perfect. Thanks. Next verb is come. Let me see. Dalia Margarita, give me an example, please. Oh, see. Come. Come. Uh... She doesn't come to the party. Very good. Next one is buy. Let me see. Jose Manuel. Check your microphone, please. Thank you. She does buy. She, she doesn't buy. Of car. She doesn't buy a car. Good. Thank you. Cecilia, make one using great. She doesn't write a letter. Very good. Tony, use look in a sentence. Sorry, I don't look, um, I don't look, watch TV. Um, in that case, you were using two verbs, look and watch. So try to use only look. So keep that one. Look. I, don't, I look. don't look. I don't look TV. Um, well, we do not usually use look with TV. So let's say something like, um, I don't look at you, for instance. I don't look at you, could be. Or, I mean, mm -hmm. la frase normalmente es watch TV, watch TV. Entonces, esa eh, normalmente no la modificamos. Es por eso que no, no utilizamos look en ese caso. Ah, uh, okay. um. So it could be something like, I don't look at you, I don't look at, and then you mention what you are not looking at. I don't look at. No veo, and then you add just whatever thing you may look at. Podemos mencionar cualquier cosa, Tony, cualquier cosa que pueda ver. I don't look oh. at. I don't look at um, my notebook. Okay, very good. Thank you, Tony. Next one, let me see. Have you all participated? I think so. Okay, let's just stop here and let's continue with our next review, which is the simple present for yes, no questions. So we use the auxiliary do at the beginning of the question. And remember that we have does for the subjects he, she, and it. 
Then we keep the verb in the base form. Once again, because we're using the auxiliary verbs, do or does, we keep the verb in the base form. We do not change it in any way. Then we have some examples. Do you do exercise every day? Can you help me to read the second one, Frank? That's, that's cheat, candy, candy. Thank you. Dalia Margarita, read please. Do we teach French? Great. And the next one, Arnoldo. That's the apartment. Apartment, very good. Does he live in an apartment? And you know okay. that we answer by saying, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Yes, we do, no, we don't. Or yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Okay, so we are going to make some questions using do or does. And we're going to ask them to our classmates. Let's see, for example, Frank, do you take a shower every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, good. So, Frank, now you make a question and you ask it to one of your classmates. Um, Arnoldo Morales. Yes. Does, does she go to school? But mention somebody, for example, does your daughter or does your sister? Oh, uh, does your mother go to school? No, oh, does she doesn't? Okay, Arnoldo, make another question and you ask it to one of your classmates. <laughs> um. Casi no la entendí. No, tiene que hacer una pregunta a alguno de sus compañeros, siempre utilizando do you or does he or she. Uh, yeah. Puede ser, por ejemplo, de, de la rutina, algo que hagamos todos los días. Dice, do you, do you take a shower, do you brush your teeth, do you work, do you watch TV? Dalia Ramos. Okay. Uh, do you TV? Do Sorry? you watch TV? Do you watch TV? Yes, I do. Great. Now, Dalia, ask somebody else, please. Uh, Maria Carmelina. Okay. Maria Carmelina, you do. Do you? Perdón, perdón. Do you eat uh, eggs? Today, do you eat? Um, maybe we can add some kind of food. Um, Dalia, do you eat fish, for instance? And we cannot use today with the, with the oh. simple present, okay? Okay. Yeah. Do you eat fish today? Sorry, Dalia. So uh -huh. we cannot use today with the simple present. Eh, el today no se utiliza con el simple present. Entonces sería... Eh, Solamente completémosla con un tipo de comida, tal vez. Oh, do you okay, okay. eat fish? Do you eat shrimp? Or do you eat chicken? Okay. Do you eat chicken? Please repeat. Do you eat chicken? Eh, come yes. yes, I do. Okay, good. Continue asking, please, Carmelina. Okay. 
does your sister to work every day? Does your sister work every day? And who are you asking? Para quien es la pregunta? Lizette. Um, yes, she does. Good. Lizette, keep on asking, please. Um, Jose Manuel Grijalba. Um, sería, do you brush his teeth every day? Yes, I do. Very good. So let me just tell you, they said we say, do you brush your teeth? Because we're asking him, right? Do you? Do you brush your teeth? Do you brush your teeth every day? I see. Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Jose Manuel, continue asking. Um, Arnoldo? Um, Arnoldo has already participated. So how about Rafael? Alfonso? Oh, oh. Alfonso is fine. Hi. Alfonso, do you listen music in the morning? Yes, I do. Great. Now, Tony, can you ask Rafael, please? Rafael, um, do you do you visit the family? Uh, sorry, repeat. Uh, do you visit the family? Your family. Do you visit your family, Rafael? Usted visita a su yeah. familia? Yes, I do. All right, excellent. Now, Rafael, can you make a question to Dalia Margarita? Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. Okay, Dalia, your question is for Susana. Many, many coffee. Much coffee. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, to Susana. Yes. Uh, yes. Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Okay. Very good. Now, Susana asks Sulma. Uh, do you eat a dinner? Yes, I do. Very good. Just yes, Susana, we do not say a dinner. We only say dinner. Do you eat dinner? Do you eat dinner? Ah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now, Sulma, you got a question for, let me see. Who hasn't participated? Cecilia, have you participated? No, right? Okay, so to Cecilia. Um, do you play game? Yes, I do. Okay, Cecilia, you ask Carlos Jose. Do you read the newspaper? Yes, I do. Okay, Carlos Jose, how about you ask Erika? Erika, do you take a shower uh, today? Yes, I do. Okay. That's fine. And um, let me just explain again that we do not use today with a simple present. Um, today, yo sé que es presente, pero no se puede utilizar con el simple present. ¿Por qué? Por ejemplo, si preguntamos si se bañó ahora, tendría que ser en el pasado. Porque ya tiene que haber eh, ocurrido, ¿verdad? Entonces tendría que ser con el auxiliar did, que es el pasado. Did you take a shower today? Aunque todavía es, estamos en este día, todavía es ahora. Eh, sí, es una acción que debería haber pasado antes. Es por eso que no utilizamos today con este tipo de, de tiempo verbal. But it's good. So you can say, for example, do you take a shower every day? Do you take a shower every week, for instance, or every month or something like that? So to keep on asking about the routine. 
Okay, so now we have done a lot of practice, right? But we're going to continue by working in small groups. We're going to solve um, some exercises that are part of a worksheet. Let me show you. Here we go. So I'll send you to the breakout rooms. So you work on these exercises. We got exercise one, underline the correct form of the verb. Here we have, for example, I at a bank. We got work, works, or working. You underline the correct form. Then exercise number two, use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. So you decide if they go in the base form or if you change them and add S, E, S, or I, E, S. Then for exercise number three, we have to circle the correct verb. It's similar to number one, right? Except that we have some different verbs. And also remember that um, we got some, some sentences that go with the verb be. So please make that difference, right? Remember that we do not use does with the verb be, or we do not change the, the third person verbs in this case, because we use the forms am or are. Then in the next exercise, we have to fill in using don't or doesn't. Just correct don't or doesn't. Here in exercise five, you make negative sentences, just as we practiced with the examples. And exercise six is make sentences in the affirmative, negative, or interrogative form. So it depends on what you have here. For example, number one is affirmative. Then we got not, that means we have to make a negative sentence. And here we got a question mark, which indicates we have to make a question. Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms now. And I'm sending the practice to our WhatsApp group in a couple of seconds. There we go. We got 20 minutes to complete the practice, maybe 25, we'll check. Y estamos esperando, ¿verdad? Que mande. El... Sí. Ah, el envío. Okay. Ajá. Camero largo, según lo que nos comentó de que vamos a hacer. Sí, hay, hay sí, bastante. Sí. Yo creo que con eso llegamos casi a la hora. Sí, ¿no? <risa> Así es. Aunque la ventaja que yo veo ahorita, al menos para mí, es que eh, no voy a escribirlo, solo digitarlo. Ah, ah como en Word, en, Word, en Word lo va a mandar, va. Ah, es cabal, correcto. ya, ya lo está. mandó. Hi, I send it. Ah. Thanks, teacher. Ok, no problem. Thanks, teacher. <coughs> Vaya. Okay. ¿Quién es el mero mero que empieza, pa? Ah, pues yo digo que I work at a bank. I work. ¿Qué sí, verdad? Uh -huh. The work. Mm, sí, I work. Sí, va. Sí. Ok. Bueno, y una compañera no fugó. 
Ah. Este, había alguien mapa. No, Susana. ¿Quién se fue? Susana. Se fue. Ah, Susana, ah. se fue. Y usted, entonces le toca, ya habló. A mí, va, eh. Le toca. Eh, leaves, con S. Leaves. leaves. Sí. Sí. Ya va. Leaves. ¿Qué es cows? Cows, ¿qué es? Cows, ¿qué es? ¿Sí? Vacas, las vacas. Ah. Las vacas se alimentan en la grama. Entonces sería oh, okay. cows field. Sin eso. Sí, sí, porque sí. son. Ajá. Sin eso. Eso es. Ajá, sí. La Ay, primera. Me vengo Ajá, preparado, hola. compañeros. Eso. Eh, Está bien. bien. Muy bueno. Esto. Vamos con. Yo, yo tenía una duda, porque ¿Sí? como estamos hablando de, de la vaca, ¿no? Ajá. No es que lleva ese, feed. No, porque vacas son varias. Ajá. Entonces son day. Es day. Ajá. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, solo, para right. solo, para, solo para terceras personas dijo que se le agregaba la, Ajá. la S, ¿verdad? No, es que yo, yo lo tomaba como its por ser animal, ¿verdad? Wow. Pero como si son varias vacas, entonces son varias sí, sí. Ajá, sí, sí. Exacto. Exactamente. Pues Recordemos que el it es singular, sería solo para una. Entonces, si sí, es plural, no como caos, tiene que ser play. Entonces lo conjugamos sí, sí. en esa forma. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Okay, yo voy. La cuatro. Entonces, la cuatro She sería. Earns. 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 El gana, ajá. Ay, ¿en cuál van? Cuarto. Uy, yo cuatro. sé que había hecho usted. Es que me fui a tomar la pastilla. Ah, va ah. muy bien. Ah, pues anda bien, anda bien. Cabal a la, sí. a la mera hora. A la mera hora. Un momento, un no, hombre, ahí está, está contenta de leer la carita. Yeah. El poder de la pastilla. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. en, la prim en el primer ejercicio van. Sí, en la, primera. Bueno, sí. la quinta. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Primero primer ejercicio, ejercicio yo en la quinta, exacto. Vale, Janet. Entonces, Janet Wants, ¿verdad? Wants. 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 Ajá, Wants. Wants. Porque se refiere a, a ella. A ella. Ah, sí. Ella le vamos hallando. Va. Ah, hoy sí, ah, hoy sí. No, si sí, ya vi que los lentes es por algo. Ah, los lentes son los buenos, pues. Esos son los que ayudan. De 3D son. Ah, la C. Ah. Emily. Make. 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 Poco fácil, no cuesta. Algo accesible, va. Sí, uh -huh. por lo menos ayer se andaba bien quebrado, pero esto lo siento. <risa> Así es, que poco a poco va, va adaptándose uno, me imagino. Sí, y media vez uno te ponga interés y todo. Ya va. Aparte, ahí están las clases en YouTube, se puede repetir todo el día. Ah, sí, sí también, de veras. Ajá. Aquí en Her Lives. Son dos. Son dos. Live. 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 Sí, porque es arte y ella va. Uh -huh. Esposo dice, ¿verdad? No sé, esposo. Sí, arte y, y su esposo. Esposo. Y su esposo. Ah, esposo. Y su esposo. Ah, esposo. Live, entonces. Sería uh -huh. live. Live, sin ese. Live, sin live. Uh -huh. Sin ese, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Sin ese. Uh -huh. Roan, Antonia. Like. 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 like uh -huh. Play. Exacto. Play card. 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 Games. Sofía Spick. Sofía Sería Sofía. Sofía Speaks. Ajá. Sería. 
I go, I go to the city once a week. I go to the city on a week. You say once, once. Once. Esa es la pronunciación, once. Y no sé si manejan el significado una vez. Once. No. Once. Ah, once, once a week. Semana. Una vez a la semana. I go to the city, city once a week. I go to the city once a week. Luego sería then you play you play the, the guitar very well. Yes. She never visits. She never visits me. Me. Tom La always ways, Tom always thinks things. new ways to do things. Visit things. Es verdad. Sí. Sí, sí con eso. Visit. Tom always thinks. Sí, sí, ¿Qué es verdad? Con ese. Always no, finds. Um, finds. Finds. Tom Find. always finds. And we're talking about Tom, which is uh, he, right? It corresponds to he. Okay, okay. <laughs> Find new ways to the thing. And want, want to speak. To speak. To speak. <laughs> Hard, how, past wheels. week. My mother has a big house. En las siete, me quedé en las siete. <laughs> Cars, cars son carros, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. Cars has wheels. Has wheels. Cars. No, no sería con it's, porque. In that case, you say ah, cars pues sí. have wheels. Have wheels. Sí, en ese caso estamos utilizando el plural, cars. Entonces, a pesar de ah. que es una cosa lo manejamos como days en cuanto a pronombres. Lo manejamos como ah, okay. they, entonces sería el verbo have. Uh, have. La tercera persona, it, es solamente para el singular. Ah, ok. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I know. A lot of grammar. <laughs> In the eight, my mother has has a big house. We play a lot. We play a lot. Play. 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 We play a lot. They sell. They sell. Fruit and Is it sell? Which one? You are in number 10. They yeah. sell fruit and eggs. Um, well, you just conjugate the verb normally. Mm -hmm. sí, lo conjuga igual, siguiendo las mismas reglas de la tercera persona o primera o segunda persona. Okay. En este caso estamos hablando de they, entonces sería... Sell. Ajá, sell. Sell. No hay, no hay que cambiarlo. Marta. Marta Sims. Marta Sims Sal. Sims Sal. I usually help. Helps my neighbors. His brother rarely lives. Ah, no, solo live. Live Tom. We're talking about his brother, his brother. So we say live or lives. 
Leaves. Leaves. Leaves? Yes, that's correct. Leaves. There's person. Um. <laughs> Exercise three. Cycle the correct pair. Okay. Do you like, you like, do you like chocolate milk? He does not want to do go the movies. Yes. Um he, he He, he he walks no he plays no. ten no he plays tennis he now, plays tennis no in that one the only possible answer would be wants breakfast he wants breakfast now este now, eh, aunque estemos utilizándolo, bueno, se refiere al presente, ¿verdad? Pero si lo utilizo con los otros verbos, tendría que cambiar el tiempo a present continuous. Entonces tendría que ser he is playing now. Or he is walking home now. Entonces, por el hecho de que estamos usando mm. now, es que solamente en el simple present lo podemos utilizar con el want breakfast. He wants breakfast now. Okay. Breakfast. Okay. It. It is. It is. A beautiful day. It's a beautiful. It, it is a beautiful day today. Very good. Sorry, Lisa. Is not here at the moment. Yes. They're not here. They are on holiday right now. They are They are on holiday. Yes. That's the correct point. They are, they are on holiday. Mm -hmm. Robert, uh, not to the school. Does not. Does not. Sorry. Does not. Yes. Yeah, does not go to my school. My parents, my parents live lives. live in live. a two bedroom apartment. My parents live in a two bedroom apartment. Yes. We go to school right now. Okay, bueno, ocho. My parents live in a two bedroom apartment. Where we are European. We are, sería, ¿verdad? We do are. Mm -hmm. Sí, pues. Ah, no, pero que no sé. Sorry. We are. We what, are. what exercise are you in? Hello. Hello. <clears throat> we are at the third one. Number three. 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 Okay. And what exercise? What I mean? What sentence? It is the. Let me see. It's nine. Number nine. It says we European. Uh -huh. We use do be are or do are. What do you think? Uh, do are. 
Mm, well, in that case, we only say are. Remember that the verb be is different, right? It's special. So mm -hmm. remember we have the forms am, is, or are, but we do not use any auxiliaries with them. So we only say we are European. Okay. And in the sixth one, they are not here, they, right now. They are on holiday. Yes. yes, you say, oh, sorry, I, I thought you were talking to your classmates. So yes, you say they are, they are on holiday. Okay. New number 10. You seem so happy today. Exercise for fill in don't or doesn't into the gaps. Okay. Sarah. Doesn't. Thanks. Sarah. Doesn't like reading books. Rita's mother. Doesn't watch her movies. We do not mm -hmm. or doesn't or don't having doesn't. Does. like spinach and beans. The children don't Do play in the garden very often. They don't learn for their test very much. She doesn't Play football. My cat doesn't punch my I do not. We do not. Hello. We do not Hello. have to wear school uniforms doesn't my brother and i don't go to work don't Usually, that's it. Anything for dinner? My neighbors. Do. Don't go on holidays. Exercise five: Make negative sentences. My father makes breakfast. My father doesn't make breakfast. My father doesn't. They don't 
No, no, it sería they aren't tolerant. Mm -hmm. That's correct. They aren't. Mm -hmm. They are. She doesn't write a letter. A letter. I don't speak Italian. Okay. Um, do not doesn't and on his file constant on Sundays. Number six, make sentences in affirmative, negative, or interrogative forms. Okay. Vamos a ir una cada vez. ¿Me oyen? Sí. ¿Me oyen? Sí. Yo casi eh, todo distorsionado lo oigo. El inter, porque sí, yo sí escucho bien. De veras, eh, por ratitos oigo bien y por ratitos para nada. Sería he does try to work every day. Remember that in the affirmative form we do not use any auxiliaries. Ah, Just uh, a okay. Verb. He drives to work every day. <laughs> he doesn't. Doesn't? Oh no, you don't have to make the three forms. It's only a one of the forms depending on what you have. For example, number one, is an affirmative oh. sentence, then in the next one you got not. So that means you have to make it negative. Okay. Thank and you. And when you have the question mark, it's a question, of course. Okay. Okay. I do not think. We do we have a number four? I do eat. Right, so we're getting back in just a minute. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss. See you there. Teacher, more time. You didn't finish. <laughs> Nos quedamos a iniciar el exercise number six. Number five. Oh, number five, really? Oh, no. So, but you practice. You practice a bit, right? Okay. That's good. So, do we have any doubts, any questions about the exercises? Let's go through them. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. In exercise one, you just have to complete the, by, by choosing the correct form. For example, we say, I work. She lives, cows feed, he earns, Janet wants, Emily makes, 
Then we got Artie and her husband, Liv. Rohan and Senia, like. Sophia speaks. Martin goes. And number 11, my grandfather adores. And 12 says plants, plants need. And the next one, you have to write the verbs. I think we're, we got that one, right? Do we have any questions about exercise two? No questions. Okay, no, and then in do. exercise number three, and it's similar to exercise one. Here you have a question. So you need to use like, right? Do you like? Or like. Next one, he does not. Does not. Then over here, you have three different options. Play tennis, wants breakfast, and walks home. So because of this word, now we can only use this. That will be the answer. He wants breakfast now. He wants breakfast now. Si utilizáramos cualquiera de las otras dos opciones, tendríamos que cambiar el tiempo verbal. Ya no puede ser simple present, sino que tendríamos que cambiarlo a present continuous. Yeah. So that's why we use wants breakfast. He wants breakfast now. Then number four is with the verb be. So we say it is a beautiful day today. Then number five, again, the verb be. Lisa is. And the next one, they're not here. They go to school right now. They swim at the beach or they are on holiday right now. Which one? That's the correct one. On holiday. Yes, we say they are on holiday. Then we got Robert is. My parents live. We are. We are. And number 10, you sim. You sim. Okay, then in exercise four, do we have any question about it? No questions? No. And how about number five and six? Any doubts? We're good. Okay. My father doesn't. Yes, here we say my father doesn't make breakfast. They are 11 becomes they aren't 11 or they are not 11. She writes a letter. She doesn't write a letter. I speak Italian. I don't speak Italian. Danny phones his father on Sundays. Danny doesn't phone his father on Sundays. Any doubts, questions? Okay, then let's continue by, by working on our students' manuals. So please everybody open your students' manual on page number 22. Go to page number 22. And there we have, first of all, some examples of affirmative statements and negative statements. And then we got an exercise where we have to complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. For example, number one, he ordered everything in the office. And so what do we write there? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Carmelina. Vamos a entregar o a mandar a algún lado esta, estos ejercicios. No, hasta donde tengo entendido, no se envían. Vamos a, a entregar nada más el trabajo de la plataforma. Okay. Eso es lo que vamos a estar tomando en cuenta para las notas. El trabajo en plataforma, la asistencia. Y también el llenado de una encuesta que vamos a hacer al final, al final del curso. Okay. Right. Teacher. Hi. Este, el, 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 ¿Dónde podemos observar este, la asistencia, el porcentaje que vamos? Porque en la, en la gráfica no, no, no tira, no, no. no da datos de asistencia, sino que solamente lo toman a la hora de, de, de las calificaciones. Sí, sí, tiene razón. Fíjese que en verdad no hay una forma para que ustedes eh, chequen su asistencia. Ahí dependerá del control que cada uno lleve, ¿verdad? De las veces que uh -huh. ha entrado, el tiempo que ha estado en clase y todo eso. Porque en verdad no tenemos eh, por el momento un sistema para que ustedes también tengan uh -huh. acceso a esos datos. Al final es que hacemos el, el recuento ahí y sacamos los porcentajes. Entonces, 
Oh, okay. sería individual, ahí cada uno va cuidando su asistencia. Dígame, okay. Tony. Este, yo estaba viendo en la plataforma que todavía no han solucionado lo de las notas. ¿Qué problema había con las notas? Recuérdame. Al menos, al menos mi problema era que todavía aparezco como asistente. Como asistente. Oh, mis, solo mis, solo eh. la gráfica veo que sí se están cumpliendo nada más este, los... Con respecto, respecto al progreso. ¿Sí? Con respecto a lo que dice mi compañero. Este, anteriormente yo le, le, le envié un mensaje, no me recuerdo si fue a Jonathan o a alguien más que es parte de, del corporativo. Entonces él me respondió de que, de que aparecíamos en la plataforma como asistente porque la plataforma no, no va a ser la encargada de entregar los certificados o de, del avance que llevamos por módulo sino que lo va a hacer a través de Insafor, enviándolo a cada una de las empresas donde trabajamos nosotros o donde quizás nosotros hemos puesto la información de dónde estamos. Sí, por eso, pues, razón. Ajá. Eso fue lo que, lo que él me dijo, pero ya hace varios días fue que me, que me, Tradu que me contestó eso. Traducido eso, ahí sí me, me perdí un poco. Eh, ah, de... eh, perdón. Entonces ah, quiere sí. decir que estamos bien, ¿verdad? O sea, no hay ningún problema Ajá, con que aparezcan sí. como asistentes. En realidad Ajá. es nada más porque no les vamos a generar, a generar el diploma a través de la plataforma, sino que se les va a entregar a cada uno en sus empresas. Correcto, según lo que él me escribió ah, a mí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Gracias por compartir, ah, José Manuel. Okay, Gracias, sí. José. Ah, ajá. Ahora sí, si sí, sí, tal vez alguno quisiese... este obtener más, más información para verificar eso, podría enviarle un mensaje a él, ¿verdad? Para que, para que, le, para que le complemente la información por si alguno tiene duda, ¿verdad? O quiere saber algo más. That's right. Thank you, José Manuel. Okay. And okay. also, now that you mentioned that, um, remember that we are already um, receiving the, the paperwork for registering for next course. Ahora les han avisado también ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp que estamos recibiendo desde ya los, los documentos para que se inscriban al próximo curso. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yeah. eh, sí, les pedimos por favor que, que revisen ahí con los encargados de recursos humanos para que ellos, eh, vayan, para que ellos faciliten el, el proceso, por favor. Tenemos oh. hasta el 10 de febrero para entregar documentos. Una consulta. Oh. Tell me, este, al menos yo le dije a, los, a, los, a las personas encargadas de recursos humanos de la empresa eh, por cuestiones de, de que ya están entrando nuevamente a planillas porque ellos generan planillas quincenales. Eh, una de ellas me dijo, eh, tenemos hasta el 10, me dijo la otra semana. Como puedo saber, aparte de preguntarle a ellos para no incomodarlos, si los documentos se entregaron. Ahí tal vez pudiéramos chequear con Miss Elena Méndez o una vez más con Jonathan o Jason. Eh, Ellos son parte mis, del, del administrativo, podrían ayudarles. Díganme, mis, José Manuel. Este, esa es otra, o, otra con, respecto, ajá, con respecto a eso, porque igual como dice mi compañero, también este, a nosotros nos cayó un mensaje por medio de, de WhatsApp, que es el del grupo, ¿verdad? Pero... Uh -huh. Anteriormente hay, hay otros también que, que trabajan ahí en la empresa de que como que ellos están este, llevando, también cursando módulos, pero están en semi-intensivo, no es intensivo. Entonces, este, según la encargada de recursos humanos y Jonathan, eh, puso ahí un mensaje de que a excepción de aquellos que estamos en cursos intensivos, según lo que decía el mensaje, pero de igual forma, Quizás sería mejor corroborarlo con él directamente para que él nos diga si vamos a entregar nosotros otra vez la información o solamente aquellos que, que están en el nivel de, de semi-intensivo, que es de lunes a jueves, de 8 a 9, parece, o de 9 ah, a 10. de una ¿verdad? hora. Ajá, correcto. Sí, sí, exactamente. Tenemos cursos en distintas modalidades, entonces Ajá. cada uno tiene su forma de trabajar, ¿verdad? En los otros cursos los participantes se encargan de enviar la documentación. Pero en este específicamente, Inglés para el Trabajo, sí eh, se realiza el proceso a través de las empresas. 
Entonces, no lo envíen ustedes directamente, sin embargo, si nos pueden ayudar ahí a, a agilizar la, Proceso. La, la gestión, ¿verdad? Sí, está bien que estén ahí preguntando y eso para que no se les vaya a pasar la Ajá. fecha y luego no podamos aplicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, por eso les, podemos, les pedimos que estén pendientes. Díganme. Ok. Y es que no es tan difícil llenar el formulario porque solo se necesitan tener cierta información y de ahí son como las generalidades de cada persona. Solo, pues, si tal vez les puedan ayudar los de recursos humanos, solo es como lo más complicado es el recibo de la planilla y la lista de la planilla, pero generalmente eso uno lo tiene impreso porque como lo va revisando, entonces si no es tan complicado en esa empresa lo pueden pedir. Sí, y no, solo no, no, no. sí, al menos en mi caso sí es un poco complicado. Nada menos para poder hacer la inscripción eh, de mi cuenta, de mi parte, eh, se me complicó un momento y todavía eh, un día después de la fecha límite tuve que eh, solicitar ahí eh, que me dieran un día más en prórroga para poder hacer la inscripción porque recursos humanos, al menos en la empresa de nosotros como están quincenalmente eh, generando planillas. Ellos, bueno, la empresa es, creo yo, ¿verdad? como muy grande y solo hay dos los encargados, entonces ellos quedan como muy saturados. Entonces, cuando yo li, que necesito ahí que me eche la mano con la, con, con, con la cartita, le digo, yo, yo solo me, me, me refiero nada más al recibo de, de, de Liz. Sí, dame chance, me dijo, dame chance, y ahí vamos, dame chance. Fue la y se nos pasó la fecha y yo, Lee, fíjense que pedí prórroga. Para, espérame un momentito, vamos a ver. Hasta el siguiente día. Generar un día okay. después. Sí, eh, ahí sería de, de estar pendientes y como les digo, cualquier duda con respecto al proceso pueden consultar con Miss Elena Méndez, Jonathan o con Jason. Ellos sí, no podrían puedo... ayudarles. Si sí, en un dado caso... Eh por A o B o X motivo, no se logra hacer llegar esa documentación en la fecha que se solicita, tendríamos que esperar hasta el siguiente. Fíjese que en verdad no sabría darle una respuesta en cuanto a eso. Desconozco cómo se maneja esa cuestión. Ahí sí tendría que ah. consultar directamente con las personas que les indico porque no, no lo sé. Mendes. Sí. Mendes me comentó y, y... Jonathan y Jason Bautista. Okay. Jonathan, no recuerdo el apellido de Jonathan. Guzmán, creo que. Ah, oh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue with the exercise then. So we are going to complete the sentences using the verbs in parentheses. We got, for example, number one, he order or orders everything in the coffee, in the office. Goodness, I need a coffee, right? <laughs> so it's... Orders. 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 Okay, so that is what we have to write in this space. Now, please take some minutes to complete the exercise and then we'll share and check. Everybody take some minutes to complete the exercise and then we check together. Okay. 
let me know when you finish, please. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Let me just give one minute to the ones who have not finished and then we start checking. So let's check. Number two, Daria Margarita, can you read it and tell me the answer? Number two. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every Friday. Thank you. Next one, Jose Manuel. Uh, number four or oh, number three. Number three. Helen, not calf, did Helen. a thing in the how do we complete that one? Helen, not calls. And we need the auxiliary do or does. Which oh. one do we use? Helen, Helen does. does. Doesn't. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Does not or doesn't call, right? Read call it again. The, the signal department on weekends. Okay, good. We got Helen does not call the design department on weekends. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Next one, Susana. Number, Number four. four. She clean or does in the morning. She clean or clean. cleans. 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 Very good. Okay. Next one. Let me see. Cecilia. Next one. Oh, it's number one again. So this one. I. I write a list. With the things we need at 9 a.m. Very good, thank you. And the last one, Sunma. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise. Merchandise. He. Merchandise. He buys. Buys. Very good, Sunma. All right, so that is what we got. Number one, orders. Number two, ask. Three, does not call. Four, cleans. For this one, we got right. And for Mario, we say doesn't keep and buys. Now, in the remaining minutes, let me, let me explain something about the platform. Okay, here we go. So you may have seen that here in section number two, we got unit two daily routines. And there, if we click on them, on that, then we are going to get some homework, right? So we have already assigned homework six, seven, eight, and nine. Today we are doing homework number 10, which is this one. So you must complete all five homework assignments this week, right? You got until tomorrow to complete them. And the other thing that we got on section two is the midterm exam. So I need you all to complete that one. 
you complete all five homework assignments and also the midterm test. So here you have different kinds of exercises. Part number one says read carefully and choose the best answer. You get a, a, a sentence with some blanks and here you have some options. Are a, a, is, is a, you select the one that corresponds and then you go to the next part. Oh, something important is that you must submit. Um, once you complete the exercise, once you select your answers and complete the exercise, you are going to get the submit button available. So you click on submit in order to send the, the answers. Please don't forget about that. Una vez que complete el ejercicio, lo envía. Haciendo clic en submit, por favor. Then in, in part number two, we have to choose the best choices for the following questions. So here you have some questions. You got some options to answer. You choose the one that corresponds, the one that is correct. Part three, it's similar. You go over the sentences and check the right use of the verb be. Once again, we have some options. We select one and we submit the exercise. Then we got part number four, which says read the questions, check the proper way to answer them. Here you have two different options. Do you like music? Yes, I do, or yes, I does. You read the, the options and select one. And let me see what else we have. All right, so that will be all. It's four parts. So please, everybody remember that we got until tomorrow at noon to complete all of this. Tenemos hasta el día de mañana al mediodía para completar las cinco tareas correspondientes a la sección 2, en caso de que no las hayamos hecho. Las cinco tareas, tareas 6, 7, 8, 9 y 10. Y el midterm test, el examen de medio curso, que sería el que acabo de mostrar. Eh, ¿Tenemos alguna consulta, alguna duda con respecto a esto? No? No. Ok, good. No, no, no. So just remember, complete the homework and do the midterm test, please, everybody. And that will be all for today's class. Thanks for participating. Take care and have a nice weekend. Hi. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. I have a question. Good night. Tell me, Tony. Good night. Eh, tenemos mañana hasta la cosa para hacerlo pendiente. Así es. Entrega todo normal. Así es, hasta el día de mañana a las 12 tienen para completar los ejercicios porque después de eso estaría revisando eh, mi persona y estaría asignando notas, ¿verdad? Entonces yo voy a tomar en cuenta el trabajo que esté hecho hasta el mediodía. Hasta ahorita, al menos con mi plataforma no ha habido problemas, todo está bien. Todo bien, sí. Eh, la semana pasada la mayoría tuvieron 100% porque habían completado todo, es nada más de que de que cuiden, ¿verdad? Ahí de, de completar cada uno de los ejercicios y pues no hay mayor problema. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice.